Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play the song called Snowman by Sia. Okay, so really awesome, very catchy, go somewhere like this, I'll be teaching you how to play the chorus and the post-chorus section. Check it out, super catchy, it goes like this, alright. like that okay so that's what you're gonna learn in today's lesson let's jump straight into it okay so there's two sections it's the chorus section then the post chorus section but anyway let's learn the chorus section first right hand the first part goes like this okay so it starts on the a flat here so middle c's reference go up to this a flat that's where it starts to okay so two a flats and then b flat d flat f d flat a flat and then a c up to f E flat. Okay, so that's the right hand for the first part of the chorus. One more time, so it goes like this. So it goes two A flats, B flat, D flat, F, D flat, A flat, A, C, F, E flat. Okay, that's the right hand for the first part. Okay, once you get that, the left hand we have two chords here. The two chords are D flat major, which is D flat, F, and A flat followed by F major, which is F, A, and C. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so D flat major followed by F major, the two hands together goes like this, all right? So the first right hand A flat by itself, second A flat and D flat major together. A and F major together. Just like that, all right? So that's the first part. One more time for the first part, so it goes like this. Okay, so once you get that, let's go ahead and move on to the second part of this chorus. Okay, right hand continues, it goes D flat, B flat, D flat, E flat, F, down to D flat, down to A flat, and then B flat, D flat, F, E flat. That's the right hand for the second part. One more time for the second part, so it goes like this, it goes D flat, B flat, D flat, E flat, F, D flat, down to A flat, B flat, D flat, F, E flat. That's the right hand for the second part. Once you get that, the left hand for the second part, we have two chords here. The two chords are, um, let me see, B flat minor, which is B flat, D flat, F, followed by G flat major, which is G flat, B flat, D flat, okay? So with these two chords in mind, so B flat minor, followed by G flat major, the two hands together goes like this, right hand starts with the D flat, and the B flat and B flat minor together, B flat and G flat major together, just like that, okay? One more time, so it goes like this, together, together. Okay, that's the second part. All right, so so far, the first two parts we've learned will be played back to back like this. Check it out. Like that, all right. Sounds pretty awesome. Ready? Let's go ahead and move on to the third part. The third part is actually pretty much nearly exactly the same as the first part. The only difference is that instead of doing two A flats at the start, this time it goes D flat, we place that with the first note and then everything else is the same. Like that, okay? So yeah, okay, remember this third part, pretty much exactly the same as the first part, just the only difference is the right hand, instead of doing two A flats to start, this time goes D flat, A flat, and then etc., which is all the same. Check it out. So you know, replacing the A flat of the D flat at the start just goes, together. And that is the third part. So this third part, as you can see, pretty much nearly the same as the first part, okay? Just remember this because it will be a lot easier to learn like that, okay? So one more time, this third part just with the D flat sounding as the first note instead goes... Just like that, all right? So that's the third part. So so far, back to back, the three parts that I've learned would be played like this, okay? So check it out. All right. that. 
All right, and then the fourth and last part of this chorus is actually exactly, exactly the same as the second part. So we just know that already. Fourth part, same as the second part. Just goes like this. Simple. Okay, one more time for the fourth part. So it goes like this. Same as the second part, remember. Just like that, all right? So back to back, the four parts that I've learned for this chorus would be played like this. Check it out. Just like that, we've learned the chorus section already. Let's go ahead and now learn the post-chorus section, okay? So the post-chorus section, the first part goes like this. It goes D flat, E flat, F, D flat, E flat, C, and then B flat. Just like that, okay? One more time for this first part for the right hand of this post-chorus section. So it goes like this, it goes D flat, E flat, F, D flat, E flat, C, and then B flat. And that's that for the right hand, all right? So that's the right hand for the first part. Now, there's not that many notes, so that's why we're learning a bit more. But anyway, the left hand, we have the four chords, and the four chords are actually, you know it already, is actually the four chords in the order, the same four chords as the chorus section, okay? So the four chords are D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat, which you know, then moving to F major, which is F, A, C, then it moves to B flat minor, which is B flat, D flat, F, and then goes to G flat major, which is G flat, B flat, D flat. All right, so with these four chords in mind, so D flat major followed to F major, followed to B flat minor, and then G flat major, which you know, the two hands together for this first part of the post chorus goes like this. Right hand starts with the first D flat, and then E flat and D flat major together. C and F major together. B flat and B flat minor together and G flat major by itself, just like that. And that's the first part of the post-chorus section. One more time, so it goes like this. Ta-da! 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 Here, just like that, okay? So that's the first part of the post-chorus. Let's go ahead and move on to the second and pretty much the last part of the post-chorus. The right hand goes like this. It goes E flat, F, D flat, E flat, C and then E flat, D flat, down to B flat, and then it goes E flat, D flat as the finishing, okay? So that's the right hand for the second and last part of the post chorus. All right, so one more time, so it goes like this. It goes E flat, F, D flat, E flat, C, and then E flat, D flat, B flat, and then it goes E flat, D flat. That's the right hand for the second and last part of the post chorus. Once you get that, the left hand we have five chords finishing off this second and last part of the post chorus. It's pretty easy, it's just the same four chords D flat major, F major, B flat minor, G flat major, and then the last chord is finished with the D flat major. Back to the root chord, okay? So one more time. So the five chords is just the same four chords as the first part, just D flat major, F major. B flat minor, G flat major, and back to D flat major. With that in mind, which is pretty easy already because these four, five chords are actually, you learnt them already, okay? So the two hands together for the second and last part of the post chorus goes like this. Right hand starts with the E flat, and the F and D flat major together. C and F major together. B flat and B flat minor together. And then G flat major by itself. And the right hand uh, corresponds to baby. And after that, D flat major by itself, finishing off. Just like that. Simple. All right, one more time. So it goes like this. Ta-da. 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 Here. Here, like that. All right, that's pretty much it, okay? So back to back, the whole post chorus that we've learned just then will be play like this, okay? So it goes like this. That's pretty much it, okay? So, pretty easy once we learn all the patterns. The chord pattern is actually just really pretty simple, repeating throughout the song. But anyway, as for now, hope you enjoyed learning this lesson of the song by Sia called Snowman. It's a Christmas song. But anyway, as for now, enjoy your time around my channel, checking out all my other piano covers and tours like these ones. I have over 2,000 of them. Anyway, enjoy your time and see you next time.
I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.